Hi everybody, here we are, week two, brick condition camp. Here we go. So coming onto the ground, we're gonna start on the floor this week, right into that forearm plank to start. Just setting them up in their forearm plank, talking them through it, crown of the head, opposition of the heels, option to be on your knees, holding there for about two eight counts, and then option to take it into plank rocks. Balance level can just hold that plank, so getting their plank rocks in there. Two counts of eight, hold that plank. One more count of eight. Then coming into a nice long arm plank. So wrists in line with shoulders. Find that straight arm plank. Shoulders stacked over wrists, talk them through it. Finishing with their down dog. Getting that stretch. Heels lift nice and high. And press down. Again, heels lift. Press down. Final hold in that stretch. Soften through the knees, walk it in, round up to standing, setting up for arms. So using their weights. Arms are going to go long in front, feet underneath the hip bones. We're going to start with an open and a close. Nice long arms. It's an open, close. We're going to hold that close, then just to the right arm. Open, close. Switch sides, left arm, and open, close. Palms are going to flip down. They're going to draw back, reach long, flip, open. You take it close, flip down, pull it back. It's a flip, open, flip on that close. So going through that, then holding both, both arms as you come back. We're going to hold it there. Arms are going to come up, frame the face. Tiny lifts up, tiny lifts. Soften in those knees, little lift up, shoulders back and down. Then we're gonna take it to an open and a close. Hold the open elbows, come down. We're gonna reach out to the side, meet in front of the forehead, pull it down. It's a reach, pull down. You take a reach to the side, pull down, hold that pull down, press back, hold it. Arms come to a V, thumbs rotate down. Lift up, soften reach, final hold right there, shoulders are down, drop those arms down, roll it out. Bicep curls, arms come in, tight to side body, we're going to come to a turned out position, both arms down and up, going through it, then we're going to take it into alternating, one arm at a time, reach all the way down, squeeze on the up. Then we're going to hold that position, flip those palms forward, hammerhead curls. All the way down, all the way up. Coming into a raised position, hold it up top and switch. Reach all the way out, all the way in. Hold that position, come in, frame your face, both arms come forward, drop those elbows slightly, both arms in, and reach. Take it, pull it in, reach long. Make sure shoulders are down away from ears. Tight corsets on, waist is pulling in. Hold that in position. Palms face each other. Coming into triceps. I'm going to turn onto profile for you. So shoulders are back and down. Ribs are closed on front body. You're going to hold the left arm long, just the right arm. Pull it in. Reach. Pull. Reach. Then you'll hold the reach on the right. Switch to left. Reach it long. Then both arms. Pull it in. Big reach. Hold that lift. It's a soft and reach, so small little bend. Hold it long. Palms are going to flip down towards each other. Squeeze it in. Find that squeeze in. Hold those long arms. Then you're going to take it into circles. It's an up, out, and around. You take it up, out, and around. Super long arms. Going through that, then you'll finish with another squeeze in. Lengthen it super long. Final hold. And release it. Go through your arm stretches. Both sides, tricep stretch. You can switch these up, whatever works for you in your stretches with the arms. So coming across the body, you can go into that chest stretch. Then we're going to take it into push-ups this week. We're actually going to do chest presses at the bar. So taking it to the bar. You'll have them walk up to the bar, hands wider than the shoulders. Walk the feet back, chest parallel. Kind of at a diagonal, not so much to the ground, but a diagonal line from the, the shoulders to the heels. Lift those heels nice and high. Single chest press, so single drop, single push up. 
Because we're at the bar, we're gonna try and go straight through our 30 right here. So just keeping it in a single drop, single push up. If you find that some people or you know your group needs a break, offer them that break in between, quick stretch, set back up, go right back to it. All the way down, all the way up. Elbows coming back in a 45 degree. Once you get through that, we're gonna set up for our seat work. At the bar this week, we're gonna use our block in our seat work. So I'm gonna adjust this so you can see my positioning. So I'm gonna take the block, I'm actually gonna stand on the block with my right foot to start. So standing on the block, short of the block is gonna face the wall. My foot comes completely on the block. I'm gonna soften through that standing leg so my right leg's bent. Then I'm gonna bring my left leg behind me, deep bend in that knee, and the tailbone's gonna go heavy towards the ground so I'm finding that pelvic tuck. Make sure my knee is tracking behind my right knee. And then tiny presses back. So just warming up that seat. I'm gonna shift my weight, I'm gonna push into my left palm, press back. Now we're gonna add a point back, flex back. Point back, flex back, keep it all in the seat. Then I'm gonna hold that point, I'm gonna lift open to the side and close. So I lift eight inches, close, take it lift, close. And I'm gonna hold that lift, tiny lifts up from there. Hips are still square, my left hip's in line with my right. I'm pushing into my left palm, Still getting that tiny lift, then press back. Small press back. Adding on, point back, flex back. So just like how you started, just in an open position now. Then I'm gonna hold that point back, I'm gonna lift up, hold it. Press back, hold it. Lift up, hold it. Press back, hold it now on tempo. It's a lift, press back. Take it lift, press back. Finishing here. Final hold, release it, step off the block. Quick standing figure four stretch on the side you just worked. Then you'll switch sides, block will go to the other side and repeat it on the other side. Then once you're finished with seat work, you're gonna go into your stretch, so your dancer stretch and bar stretch, and then taking it into thigh work. We're gonna use the ball, so just make sure they have it next to them. Um, we're gonna do calf raises first, then the ball will be used. So feet together this week in those calf raises, all the way up, all the way down. Full range, hold that lift. We're gonna come halfway and lift. Halfway, lift. Getting that lift all the way up. I'm squeezing through my seat. Then I'm gonna pulse it at the top. Tiny pulses. Finish there, final hold. And then bring it down. The ball this week's gonna go underneath our heels. So we're gonna bring the arch of your foot onto the ball. So heels will come together on that ball. Toes slightly open, arch of my foot's pushing into the ball. I'm gonna sink down nice and low. So you're in a first position just using that ball. Come down an inch, up an inch. Neutral spine, then pulse down. Tiny presses, down. Make sure it's not a quick bounce, or actually pressing down knees going forward of the toes. We're gonna press down, hold it. Now heels push into the ball, it's a push down. Push down, we're staying low. Hold that push down, sink down one more inch, tuck, release, tilt that pelvic bone forward, release that tuck, final hold, come out of it, ball's gonna go back on the bar. So that's your first set of thigh work. Second set, we're gonna take it into curtsy lunges or similar to a skater. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna bring my right foot behind my left, full range motion, all the way down, all the way up, sit down, up. My knees are turned out, down and up. Then I'm gonna hold the down, I'm gonna pulse it. Tiny presses, down an inch, down, shoulders over hips. Then I'm gonna add some movement. We're gonna press down, lift, knees gonna lift to the side. It's a lift, down, knee lifts, down. Hold that down, lift that front heel, finish with the press down. Final holds. Release it, repeat on other side. So those are two of the three. The last one, we're gonna take it into our seated chair. So feet in a parallel position. We're gonna use the ball again. Ball's gonna go between our knees. Just about three inches or so from the bar. Then you're gonna come to a seated position. I'm pulling off the bar. Squeeze that ball in nice and tight. My knees are over my ankles. My waist is drawing in, my shoulders are rolled back and down. 
down an inch, up an inch. Feet are flat. Then we press it down. Hold that press down, we're going to squeeze the ball. Squeeze it in. Squeeze. Squeeze. Then we're going to add that press down with the squeeze. It's a down squeeze. Down squeeze. Down squeeze. Hold that down, hold that squeeze, heels lift, and drop. It's a lift, drop. Again, grippy socks, great for this. Lift, drop, final hold, lift it up, squeeze that ball, and then release it. From there, you'll come onto the ground, you'll go into your thigh stretch. Once you go through your thigh stretch, we're going to take it into abdominals. So using our block and our ball, sending up flat back. Ball's actually going to go between our knees this week and our flat back. So ball between the knees. Let's perfect that flat back position first. So option to use the edge of your mat if you don't have bands or taking those bands into your hands. Bands are just about four inches in front of your shoulders. Squeeze that ball tight, sink your navel down, nice flat back, shoulders relaxed. Work on that squeeze of the ball. As you squeeze the ball, belly button sinks deeper. Flatten through the back. Tiny little pelvic tuck up, but not a big lift of the hips. We're just flattening the back. Hold that squeeze, hold that navel down. Legs come up, 90 degree bend. We're gonna go back to that squeeze, sinking the navel down. Hold that squeeze, legs go out to challenge. And we're gonna hold it here, tiny tucks up, pointing through the toes. Tuck up, hold it, squeeze the ball, pull in. Legs up directly over your hips, option to come to a three quarter bend if they need to. Lower back to that challenge, squeeze the ball. Navel sinking, flat back. Now from here we're going to lengthen longer and bring it in. On the lengthen we squeeze. It's a lengthen squeeze, exhale. All the way out, all the way in. Lengthen, drop it down, squeeze the ball, final hold. Release it. Come up to a seated position. This week we're going to use the ball behind our low back. So the ball is going to go right underneath our low back. We're going to wedge it nice and tight, right under your sacrum. Then take your hands on either side of you, push back onto the ball so you can really get that wedge of the ball underneath you. Hands underneath your thighs, push back into the ball, scoop out your waist, so find roundness in your back body. Arms come up at a diagonal, tiny presses back into the ball. So press back, scooping out in your waist. Hold that press back, then tiny tucks up, tuck it up, tuck. So tilting that pelvic bone up, tuck it up, lower abdominals. You're going to take it a press back and tuck, press back, tuck, take it press back, tuck. Press back, hold it, tuck up, hold it. Then you're going to come to the right, you're going to reach, press back, take a reach, press back. So you're using that ball, full support underneath your low back, no strain. Hold that press back, switch sides, reach, press back. Press back, back to center, back to that reach up. Press back, hold it, tuck up, hold it, final hold, and then release it. Ball comes out, you're gonna lay on your back. Ball's gonna go between your knees for back dancing. Heels close to your seat, squeeze the ball tight, lift all the way up and down. It's a lift and a drop. Ribs closed on the front body. Hold that lift, squeeze the ball. Tiny squeezes in, then tuck up. With that tuck, you squeeze the ball. It's a tuck squeeze, tuck squeeze, tuck squeeze. Super small tuck. Hips are really quiet here. You're just squeezing through that seat. Ribs are closed. Tuck up. Hold that tuck, hold that squeeze. Heels lift, squeeze the ball again. Tuck up. Final hold, release it, let the ball go, knees pull in, and then into your final stretch and your cool down. And that is week two.